Hi, it's Hannah. And Nathaniel. And you're watching Easy, Easy Treats. Treats. Now, if you're looking for the perfect recipe to make your Mother's Day on Mother's Day, then pay attention because this is the perfect recipe for you. We're going to be making strawberry shortcake. <laughs> now, this recipe is a bit more work than some of the other ones we've done, but it's totally worth it. Totally. Let's get started. <laughs> What you're going to need for this recipe is two cups of all-purpose flour, a fourth of a cup plus one to two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, six tablespoons of cold unsalted butter, three-fourths of a cup heavy cream, two cups of freshly picked strawberries. For the whipped cream, you're going to need another cup of cold heavy whipping cream, a tablespoon of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla, and just a little bit of powdered sugar to sprinkle on top for serving. Before you start, be sure to put your oven rack in the middle. Then preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then grab a cookie sheet and line it with some parchment paper. In a large bowl, whisk together the flour, a fourth of the cup of the sugar, and the baking powder and salt. Then take your butter, cut it into small cubes, and add it to the flour mixture. Use two knives or a pastry fork and cut the butter until the mixture looks like coarse crumbs or large peas. Ta-da! Now, add the cream and stir with a wooden spoon until the dough starts to come together. Flour your work surface to see that the dough will not stick. Then, when that's done, turn out the dough onto the flour surface and pat into a round. Then use a floured rolling pin to roll out the dough to a one inch thick round. Now get a cup with a mouth about two to three inches wide that you can use to cut circles from the dough and cut out as many as you can. Make sure that the dough rounds are about even in thickness. Then gather the dough into another round and roll it back out until it's an inch thick and cut out as many more as you can. Keep re-rolling and re-cutting until there's not enough dough left to do so and make more rounds. Carefully put the dough rounds on the cookie sheet and bake until the tops are golden brown. About 18 to 20 minutes. While the biscuits are in the oven, you can start preparing your strawberries. Carefully, take the center out of the strawberry, and then cut it into thin slices. Like so. Now mix the berries with the remaining one to two tablespoons of sugar. The amount of sugar you use depends on how sweet you want the berries to be. Then let them sit for about 10 minutes. Now, take the biscuits out of the oven and put them on a cooling rack. Let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. While the biscuits are cooling, you can start with the whipped cream. Put the heavy cream, the sugar, and the vanilla extract in a bowl. Then beat on a low speed. When the cream begins to thicken and it doesn't splatter anymore, about two minutes, you can increase the mixer speed to medium high. You know that the whipped cream is done when you pull the mixer out and it forms soft peaks that fall to one side. It'll be about three minutes. Don't overbeat the mixture or else it'll start to turn to butter. Gimme. Uh huh. Mmm. 
Delicioso. Now it's time to put it all together. <clears throat> put both halves of your biscuit on a plate. Then take a big scoop of strawberries and put it on the bottom biscuit. You can put a little bit of juice on too. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna wanna take a huge dollop of the whipped cream that we just made. Kind of spread it around a little bit. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Then put the tops of the biscuits on and take a little bit of powdered sugar and sprinkle it on top to finish. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shall I do yours for you too? Yes, please. Mmm, gorgeous. Should we show them? Sure. Ooh. You see? The shortcakes are done and they look absolutely fabulous. We're saving them to serve them right after dinner and they will be awesome. Oh yeah. Of course. <laughs> so keep it simple. Keep it delicious. And always keep it easy. Remember to join us next time on, on Easy, easy Treats. These are going to be great. <laughs> this is amazing.